Fifteen years ago, a Japanese spacecraft orbiting the moon captured an image that left scientists puzzled. Among the endless expanse of craters, there was something unusual, a dark, gaping hole that seemed to plunge deep into the moon's hidden interior. What started as a single mystery soon multiplied as over 200 similar holes were later discovered. These enigmatic openings have sparked worldwide curiosity with researchers believing they may hold clues to the moon's ancient history and its potential as a stepping stone for humanity's future. But what exactly are these strange lunar pits? Why do they matter so much? And why is China racing to explore them? Let's uncover the truth. In May 2021, debris from China's Long March 5B rocket made an uncontrolled re-entry into Earth's atmosphere, raising global alarm about space safety. Despite these challenges, China has rapidly emerged as a formidable force in space exploration. With Taikonauts actively working aboard their Tiangong space station and the impressive progress of the Chang'e Lunar Program, China has firmly positioned itself as a major competitor in the new space race. But China's aspirations reach far beyond orbiting the Earth or even touching the Moon. In May 2023, the Chinese Manned Space Agency announced plans for an ambitious manned lunar landing by 2030. Their goal to not only send humans to the moon, but to establish a lasting presence there. While the exact landing sites remain under review, regions with unique features, like the mysterious pits in Mare Tranquillitatis, are prime candidates. These sites have sparked excitement across the global scientific community. What makes these pits so special? Why are they drawing so much attention? At first glance, they might seem like ordinary lunar craters formed by ancient meteor impacts. But scientists believe these holes are something far more intriguing. Collapsed sections of ancient lava tubes. Billions of years ago, the moon was geologically active, with rivers of molten lava flowing across its surface. As the lava cooled, the outer layers solidified first, creating a hardened crust while molten rock continued to flow beneath. Over time, these underground rivers drained, leaving behind hollow tunnels. On Earth, similar lava tubes can be found in places like Hawaii and Iceland, with some large enough to walk through. But on the Moon, where gravity is just one-sixth of Earth's, these tubes could grow to colossal sizes. Over millennia, some sections of these tunnels collapsed, forming the deep pits visible today. But many tunnels remain intact beneath the surface, hidden, untouched, and frozen in time. These pits serve as gateways to an underground world that could hold answers to the Moon's geological history. Advanced imaging from orbiters has revealed branching tunnels at the base of pits in Mare Tranquillitatis and Marius Hills. Even more compelling, missions like Japan's Selene and NASA's Grail have detected echo patterns and gravitational anomalies confirming the existence of vast hollow spaces below. Why is China so focused on these sites? The moon's surface is one of the harshest environments in the solar system, constantly bombarded by cosmic radiation and micrometeorites, with no atmosphere to offer protection. Solar storms can unleash deadly radiation in minutes, while temperatures swing between searing heat and extreme cold. Surviving such conditions long-term would require innovative solutions, and that's where the lava tubes come in. These underground structures offer natural protection, their thick basalt walls shield against radiation and micrometeorite impacts, while the stable internal temperatures provide a far safer environment compared to the surface's extremes. Data from NASA's Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter shows that the temperature inside some pits remains around a comfortable 63 degrees Fahrenheit, 17 degrees Celsius. Imagine transforming these massive tunnels into habitable spaces. Their immense size, some over a kilometer wide, could house entire lunar colonies with living quarters, research labs, and even farms. Scientists are exploring the idea of sealing off sections of these tubes to create pressurized, Earth-like environments. By growing food in stable conditions and reducing the need for constant resupply from Earth, these caves could support a self-sustaining lunar settlements. But before any lunar cities can take shape, we need to ensure these caves are structurally sound. That's where cutting-edge robotics come into play. NASA's Dune Axle rover, for instance, is designed to explore steep pits, using cameras and sensors to map their interiors. Other innovations, like the Daedalus robot from Germany, employ LiDAR to create detailed 3D maps of lava tubes. Meanwhile, ETH Zurich's Spacehopper prototype takes exploration to another level 
with its ability to leap across low-gravity terrain, reaching places traditional rovers cannot. These technologies are critical to assessing whether these tunnels are stable enough to support human habitation. If successful, they could pave the way for a new era of exploration and settlement on the moon, turning ancient lava tubes into the foundation of humanity's future in space. Meanwhile, China is also preparing to explore the moon's lava tubes with cutting-edge technology, deploying mobile robots equipped with tethered systems, 3D imaging, and advanced navigation tools to map and investigate these massive underground structures. But before we send anything into these mysterious pits, we need a better understanding of what lies within. How deep do they extend? How intricate and treacherous are their interiors? And what secrets could these ancient caves, hidden for billions of years, reveal about the moon's history? Lunar lava tubes offer an extraordinary glimpse into the moon's volcanic past. Billions of years ago, molten lava flowed across the surface, creating the sprawling basalt plains we see today. By examining the rock layers preserved within these tubes, scientists can piece together the moon's geological evolution. But the significance of these caves doesn't stop at history. They may also contain valuable resources. Helium-3, a rare isotope embedded in lunar rock, holds promise as a fuel source for nuclear fusion, potentially unlocking nearly limitless clean energy. Additionally, traces of water ice within these caves could be harvested to provide oxygen, drinking water, and hydrogen for rocket fuel, reducing dependency on Earth and transforming the moon into a strategic launch pad for deeper space exploration. We are living in a pivotal era, a new space race is unfolding, and this time, it's not just about planting flags, it's about staying. Countries like China and the United States are vying for dominance, while private companies such as SpaceX and Blue Origin are accelerating innovation with reusable rockets that dramatically cut costs. Their focus extends beyond mere exploration. They envision building a sustainable lunar economy. Mining the moon's resources could fuel humanity's next leap into the cosmos, creating new industries and opportunities in space. China, however, has adopted a distinct approach. Backed by state funding and a long-term vision, it's steadily executing its strategy. Unlike private companies that prioritize speed and efficiency, China's government-driven Chang'e program reflects a commitment to establish a lasting foothold on the moon by 2030. For China, the moon represents more than scientific exploration. It's a symbol of geopolitical and technological leadership. Lunar lava tubes, with their natural shelter, could accelerate this vision. These tunnels might one day house permanent lunar settlements, shielding humans from the moon's harsh environment. And in a poetic twist, this exploration echoes humanity's ancient past. Thousands of years ago, our ancestors sought refuge in Earth's caves to escape the dangers of the wild. These shelters offered safety from predators, weather, and the unknown. Now, as we prepare to return to caves, not on Earth, but on the moon, it feels like history coming full circle. What once protected us in our earliest days might now play a crucial role in securing our future among the stars. Yet China's ambitions reach even further. Their plans extend beyond the moon as they spearhead exploration into space's deepest frontiers. In a remarkable turn, China is also drilling one of the deepest holes on Earth in a bold move that could unlock secrets beneath our feet. What are they searching for? How does this tie into their grand vision for space exploration? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.